Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. All right, I want to show you how to easily tear and then layer your cardstock. And uh, it was something that came naturally to me, but not others. I said, oh, I never thought of that. So, perfect video to show you. I'm going to take this oak leaf, or leaves, stamp, and um, let's stamp this all up. I'm on crumb cake cardstock here with Always Artichoke. Um, classic ink. I'm going to hold it down so I get a nice deep color because this um, neutral color is a little bit darker than a whiter vanilla would be. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright, and um, then I have my stamp pad. And I don't know if you know this, but stamp pads we push down. They're pliable. It puts color into the lid. I'm going to take my aqua painter, pick up a little bit of color, and just color the top of this acorn. That's all I'm going to do for this one. Give it a little bit of interest, but other than that, it's pretty much a monochromatic card. Okay, so now comes the tearing. And when you tear, you tear towards you. You can go up and down however you like. But when you tear towards you, you can see all of the layers of the cardstock, and that's a really cool look. When you're going for that look, you, see, you can see all the different layers. The back side isn't as pretty. Not for that shabby chic look. So, before I do my next layer, I go ahead and um, I don't want to tear. I don't want to tear it yet. I want to layer this piece on. So, I'll put some adhesive on there. And so, I, I've um, even distance from both sides and the top. Alright. Now that it's on here, it's easy to tear this piece. If I tear them separately, I'll tear not enough or too much. But if it's already on there, now I have a guide. And I can follow the up and down and control how much I tear and not guess at it. Like I said, to me that was the most natural thing in the world to, to do. But it wasn't to others. And isn't that cool? Some things come to some of us and some others. So, and then one more time. Some adhesive on the back. Stick that down, and I can follow my tear line. Very easy, very cool. Sure adds a nice look when you're going for that. So let me show you my finished card. And there we go. Simple card, but adding some layering and tearing. Hey, if you like learning new stamping tips, go to stampingsmiles.com and in the upper right corner, you can put your email address in to sign up for my mailing list. Every month, I write three stamping articles with stamping tips, techniques, and or tutorials that are exclusive for those on my mailing list. So the only way to get it is to get on my mailing list. It's absolutely free. So go to stampingsmiles.com, put in your email address. You will have to confirm that you want to be on my mailing list. Of course you want to be on my mailing list, so make sure you confirm that. And then when you do, you will receive a bonus video. <laughs> so, all right, go to stampingsmiles.com and sign up for my mailing list. My mailing list now. Hey, thanks for watching.